you already feel lightheaded, did you say? On no. your first. No, you're your making that up. Why would you say Arthur that? Arthur said you already feel no. lightheaded because you've had two glasses of wine in the first half an hour. No, I haven't. No, I thought that's what you said. That was all. No, I have not had two glasses of wine as opposed to four bottles of wine. Here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> bye bye, Southampton, for two weeks. Nicholas Handawadi here on the SS Jade with legendary stand up comedian still Elizabeth Hand, sailing just past the Isle of Wight fairly soon. The Isle of Wight what? Fairly soon. Nicholas Handawadi here, just reporting that Elizabeth has just discovered that karaoke is on the agenda. He's really looking forward to it. Not. I'm shivering my timbers here on the high seas. Handawadi here, reporting live from Norwegian Cruise Line Central, 44 hours on the good ship Jade. Named after Celebrity Big Brother contestant Jade Goody. I've been lying down a lot. Yes, I've had two afternoon naps since I've been here. And the prospect of beating last year's record of 18 alcoholic drinks in 44 hours is looking remote, as I'm only currently up to nine with one evening meal to go. I did turn up for a scheduled football tournament today uh, on a boat full of German and English men during the middle of the World Cup. And the total number of attendees for the tournament was myself and four young lads in their 20s. Tournament consequently was cancelled without a ball being kicked. Four hours in Hamburg. First we're here, now we are here. The border between Germany and Poland, the river Oka. I do believe. And now we are here. Yes indeed, four hours in Hamburg went in the blink of an eye, so you do now find us here in Berlin. Quite a nice top floor apartment here in Berlin. Some people are exhausted.
soldiers in a post-apocalyptic world. park just down the road from David Jones old gaff Legendary stand-up comedian Elizabeth Ham eating a plate of exotic food, which might include crocodile. It is, it does. And something maybe with ostrich in it. Crocodile, ostrich, and venison. Bon appetit. Appetit. The ostriches are hungry. They're looking longingly. Can we have some? It's a pity they're giraffes. Oh. The giraffes are hungry, they're looking longingly, thinking we're not ostriches. gegen Belgien ist dann fast die ganze Mannschaft geschont worden. Im Gegensatz zu Belgien spielen sie jetzt heute 9 Kane, unfassbare Statistik. Er hat sechsmal versucht, sechsmal geschossen und dabei fünfmal getroffen. Was für ein Tor. England ist äh, bisher in dieser Partie, zeigen die Statistiken, 5 Kilometer mehr gelaufen als Team. Elizabeth Hand, legendary stand-up English comedian in her England colours, having seen a triumphant victory.
After 70 hours in Berlin, we now await our train to take us from Germany to fellow hopeless World Cup participants, Poland. First time in Poland, 44 hours in Poznan, where they do things big. Very big lamp. An enormous ceiling light shade. And the world's biggest headboard. Nearly floor to ceiling. The very charming old town square of Poznan. Here we are about to eat our first Polish meal in the town square in Poznan with traditional Polish folk music playing in the background. The view from the hotel bedroom. The crowds are gathering for the billy goats at 12 noon. It's a billy goat extravaganza. Side by side. Do they butt heads or something? And I think there's some sort of trumpeter involved at some stage as well. Right on cue. Can you see him? Glad you came. Yeah, the trumpeter was really good. The goat is very fun. The best mechanical clock I've ever seen. Oh, they weren't real goats.
a very hot summer day in Citadel Park, Poznan. We are sat next to the loudest and fastest talking person in Poland, in our nice restaurant in Poznan. Here we are in Poznan Central Station looking for platform 6. Platform 6, platform 6. Platform five. Platform five. Ah. Anyone know how to get to platform six? Platform six, anyone? Yes, we have found it. Platform six. We have left Poznan and have travelled 99 miles further south to the town of Roklav on a train journey that lasted approximately 2 hours 15 minutes. This is our room in Roklav. Who is that person? We had a very nice time in Poznan. It was a quite a nice place. My particular highlight was the town square with the wonderful architecture. Elizabeth's, I would imagine, would be the bonding she did with a waitress one night who gave her some lessons in the Polish language. And she now knows how to say thank you in Polish. This looks remarkably like the Japanese garden I would like to go to while I'm staying in Rokla. I, I learned to sew on one of these. <laughs> Eight hours in Rochlav. Been slipping in and out of my Handawari character recently, so must try and maintain my discipline. Here we have the charming little alley in Rochlav, which contained the slaughterhouse. This tour guide is explaining that this is the spot of the local Rochlavian tribute to all the slaughtered animals that gave their lives to feed us. Should be able to get a boat ride from around here. I've encouraged. 
Saint Elizabeth to come up to St. John the Baptist Cathedral with me on Cathedral Island, but we have to be quiet. Luckily, they have a lift for the majority of their ascent. <laughs> Walking to the game, Saturday, 7th of July. We can do it. Come on, going to do it. What the hell is going on? Uh, don't too soon. Get in there. Was 
Alexander Wadi here, live from a public transport vehicle in the place that is spelled Rocklaw, but sometimes pronounced something slightly Rush different. Love. Last night, legendary stand up English comedian Elizabeth Hand and I went for our Saturday evening Indian meal, which makes today chronologically Sunday, and it was a bit of a disappointment. Mango Mama is the place to avoid, and the, uh, the meal that Elizabeth had in particular was rather disappointing. Yeah, not spicy at all, and she referred to her meal as something akin to tomato soup with chicken. Worse than that, it didn't sell alcohol. A very impressive central train station in Roshlav. Almost Moorish architecture. Morning. We are off to the commemoration of a spectacular Polish battle over the Russians. Coincidentally, those pesky Russians lost hilariously last night in the World Cup shootout against Croatia. Tia Toriate, come on, Michael. Hi, Sorhito, yo. We can't beat a nice Japanese water garden.
And here we have an actual recreation of the photograph in our hotel room, but with about 150 more people than in the photograph. Japanese Garden, 8th of July, Rockwell. That's how you pronounce it, isn't it? Rushlaw. A very cool wooden church in the middle of the woods. Yana Nipumonichina Church. What a tune! Hmm, not quite sure what was going through the artist's mind. These works of art, on the other hand, are to commemorate the lost souls. People that disappeared in the middle of the night, snatched by the rulers during the communist regime in Poland pre-1990s. Going up the Elizabeth Church, whose tower is being restored, and uh, looks like it steps all the way, all the way. No lift in this place, no Siri. yesterday on Cathedral Island. So we have the ongoing festivities of the Market Square in that direction. Just visible behind the scaffolding. Church undergoing restoration at the moment, right the way up his tower. And down there, just beside the river, is our hotel. Okay. 
Nikos Handawari here, heading eastwards on a train through Poland, on a train heading towards Auschwitz. A rather manic Krakow station. Just checked into the Topolowa residence in Krakow. And it's rather a charming place. Oh dear, what? Did you say oh dear? Well, I'm pretty sure you said, oh dear. It doesn't matter. I might keep that Very nice place. A very, very nice place indeed. Breakfast will be served down there. What a pleasant location. What is exciting as well is that we have a safe with a key that turns in the lock. That is so exciting. No code numbers to type in, just a key. Wow. Um, no, Why? Because it'll mean you'll forget. I'll be here one day and you'll come out. On... What I must try and find out is where I can get some sort of horse drawn carriage from so that I can have a little. <laughs> tour of the uh, city. If you see one, let me know. Lovely morning. Sleep all right? No. It's a delightful morning here in our Krakow Hotel. Elizabeth has just been taking photos of herself. Tomorrow's going to be the big day on the road to Auschwitz and the salt mines and then back here in time for the World Cup semi-final with a bit of luck. St. Joseph's crack off. South side of the river. A hot July day.
It's a very hot day today in Krakow. Very hot. We are down by a bend in the river Vizla. Just uh, killing a bit of time waiting for Liz Elizabeth to do her shopping, her shopping now. It's hot. Auschwitz was, uh, was pretty grim, this place, Auschwitz II, Birkenau. Even grimmer, it's vast. This place was where the serious extermination was actually done. We're prisoners left inside block number 25 as we enter this one barrack. On the way there, you will see, for instance, on the right, the buildings with many chimneys, so it has their food pumps, kitchen buildings. And so, in the morning, the prisoners used.
and the one to him are putting life somewhere between Auschwitz and a salt mine. Our driver is making frantic efforts to get us there in time in order that we may get back to the hotel in time to watch the World Cup semi final. This is what's uh, it's a church. <laughs> this is what's worth missing the kickoff of the semi final for, do you think? Yeah, it doesn't go on about it too much. Let's try to catch up with a real life miner. About 150 meters below ground level. Half an hour before kickoff, 130 meters below the surface of the ground. <laughs> Did you make somebody jump, did you say? I think so. Hey? Trippier. Trippier? Yeah. Well done. So far, we need to sit in between the So we're just going through the suburbs of Boston on a nice warm sunny day. Well, well, the football is over. No more football fever. We have just checked into our hotel, the latest in a long line of hotels. This one in the centre of Warzawa, not to be confused with Walsall, which is in the West Midlands. This is the capital of Poland. but a bit cloudy this morning in Warsaw. Our only full day in this city. Well, we've potted down this morning to take a look at the palm tree in the Charles de Gaulle Square. And uh, there seems to be a bit of a police incident going on. The police holding the traffic up in one direction, communicating by whistles to each other, and uh, don't know what was going on actually. 
A lot of whistling going on from these policemen. Very pleasant University Library building in Warsaw, which has a rooftop garden. Cool place or what? Oh, I see what you did there, you did a joke, yeah. Nicholas Handelwada here reporting live from the University Library rooftop garden in Warsaw. Just appearing in shot now is somebody you're familiar with. It's the legendary stand-up comedian Elizabeth Hand. Very classy sculptures at the University Library. You know what the hell is going on in town today? There's a lot of VIPs floating around with armed escorts. It's all kicking off in town today. Some sort of massive protest going on. Sheltering from a rain, a downpour in a Warsaw alleyway. <laughs> Sheltering from a downpour in a Warsaw alleyway, with a government protest going on in the streets outside. What flavour did you get? The downpour has dispersed the protesters. What flavour? Blueberry porridge. Wow, blueberry porridge. Porridge? Did you say? Yeah. Does it taste actually like porridge? Yeah, it's in the window. Look, it's there. The Warsaw Doves from Above. <laughs> or below. The Warsaw Pelican of Love.
Well, would you believe it? We have another quaint old square. This one quite small in comparison to the others. But different in its own right. Nicholas Handelwerdy here from Warsaw reporting the narrowest house in the world. Built in a gap between two buildings in Warsaw and it's probably no wider than about two and a half feet. Cool metro station in Warsaw the black Wilsona. Skyscraper. Business lounge in Warsaw. Elizabeth, you, I, know you're, I know you're camera shy, so I'll just film your hands. What are the highlights of your trip these last two weeks? Can you express your feelings by using hand gestures only? I was sure she was going to do that. But the gesture Elizabeth Hand has selected to describe the last two weeks is thus. Nicholas Handelwadi signing out live from Warsaw Business Lab. Apparently, the hand gesture was uh, P for Poznan. Esoteric or what? Poznan. Poznan. What? Seriously? Wow, that like was really nice surprising. Uh, of course, yeah, you're thinking dessert, aren't you? No, two nice meals. Yeah, but you're now. thinking dessert. No, I'm thinking of the meals. I've enjoyed myself anyway, everywhere. Elizabeth reading the New York Times, passing her comments on articles within. Forty-year-old woman was separated from the seventy-year-old daughter. Seventy-year-old daughter. Seventeen-year-old daughter. Oh. For forty days across the Rio Grande on a tyre. Been separated from Jess for fifteen days. Jessica's twenty-nine, and we haven't just fled from one country to another. Exactly, that's my point. Say, Nick. Boarding. 
We need no, to pull. what did you say before that? Bus driver. So no, you didn't. What did you say? I don't know. <laughs> Where are you going? What? Are we boarding or are you going? We're boarding. Oh, it's getting wetter and wetter here in Warsaw. Hope it's sunny back at home. Must be quite nice to have a row all to yourself. A row? Especially in, in row three. I'm not answering any further questions because they incriminate me. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen.